Hey, and welcome to this micro tutorial on how to capture sounds in the Rapid Flow template with FX. I'm going to be showing this in Ableton with the principles applied to any of the DAWs that we offer this on. So the way that the template is uh, set up basically means that uh, you have a lot of possibilities to influence the way things sound, both with send effects, of course, uh, but also with everything that's happening on the super channel. Uh, so in essence, all the sounds that are running in the template get sent to the super channel and from the super channel they go to the mastering chain uh, and in the mastering chain there's a big level boost that happens which is why the levels in the channels are relatively quiet um, and the challenge is that if you were to, were to resample the way you normally do it you would record the mastered sound and then send that recording again into the mastering chain which would lead to double mastering and of course that's not going to sound correct so uh, I'm going to take this little uh, pad sound here from the Infinity Bundle um, that I recorded in audio as an example. Let me play it for you. Let me just switch off the mastering so you can see. Um, it's actually going there at a pretty low level. Only once I switch on the mastering is correct. Now, if I were to resample this somewhere, um, I'm going to get the mastered sound and then send it again to the mastering and it becomes a mess. So what the way to do this is I'm going to go to this track and say, okay, this is going to become my harmony audio file. That's what I want to use it for. And I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, record the master output. So the mastering um, channel, because all of my send effects that are also being used on this uh, track are going to the mastering channel. Not all of them, some of them are going to the super channel. That depends a little bit on uh, what they're used for, but generally they're going to the mastering channel. Um, and, and basically, if you're recording the mastering channel, you're going to capture what you're hearing. However, I'm going to tell this uh, channel that I want to record this pre effects. I don't want to capture the um, mastering chain twice. I want to just capture the sound that's being sent there before it runs to the mastering channel. And that's it. I can now solo the sound that I want to grab uh, and hit record. You can see the audio channel, uh, uh, the levels in the audio channel are the same, right? I'm just going to stop this here now. Um, and this is the recording that I've just done. I'm just going to make a little loop of this for, for a sec. Uh, and I've now recorded it and I'm sending it, uh, this recording to the super channel, which gets sent to the mastering channel. So if I mute that sound, that original now and play back this harmony sound. You see, it's, it's the same. Now, if I were to record this post effects, um, what would happen is I would record it way too loud. Let me show you. You see that? So I'm basically recording a mastered. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, uh, I didn't solo it. Hang on a second. Uh, there's kick drums happening there. Here, let me solo it. Uh, let's do it again. So you see the level here is way higher than it's actually on the channel that I'm trying to sample. So I've now double mastered this basically. I've recorded it with way much, all the level that's happening in the mastering chain basically. And that's not what I want. If I play this back now, if I mute the original and play this back, it's going to be sent to the super channel to the mastering chain again, and it's going to be way too loud. It's also over compressed as you can hear. So that's not the right way to do it. Just select to record audio from the mastering chain and make sure you select pre effects uh, and then you're set to go. In case you're on a door that doesn't offer this kind of selection of which point in a track you're going to record from, just make sure that you record the output of the super chain because everything gets routed there. So before it gets sent to the mastering, um, and just track that um, and make sure that uh, that's the audio you capture. Or alternatively, you can record the main output of your uh, DAW, but just switch off the mastering for that recording quickly so that you don't record uh, whatever clips you're capturing uh, with uh, double mastering. Okay, I hope this little uh, micro tutorial has been useful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.